Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. That's right, guys. I want you to go to www.f2bbs.com. That's right. I want you to go there. You can, uh, this is a, a great site to fight against all sorts of nasty and nastiness by posting on f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. Go there, guys. Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. <clears throat> uh, guys, we're asking a question today. Never buy a used Rolex because they can bring bad luck. Very interesting. Now, this is in response to Phil. Phil asked me to do a video uh, a paid review, which I did, and he also asked me uh, about buying used Rolex. People only sell their Rolexes because they are in tough times like bankruptcy or divorce. So you should never buy a used Rolex because it brings their bad karma with it. I think it's a bunch of BS, but would like to get your thoughts if you think a watch can bring good luck or bad luck. Very interesting question there. And I gotta tell you something. I seriously think watches do have some mystical powers. And I've owned many watches myself. I've owned many watches. And I've, I've had time and time again things have happened that have spooked me a bit. Now, Unfortunately, I've got to be totally honest with you, they have a bit of power, but over time, it kind of seeps out, okay? And I've got to be honest with you, I don't think it's true that people only sell a Rolex in good or bad times. No, no, no. What basically happens is I've owned a lot of watches. And, you know, it doesn't matter how wealthy somebody is, they, you, no one has unlimited money. And what will happen is it's not just divorce or bankruptcy. No, 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 no. By that stage, divorce or bankruptcy, they long gone. They've long gone. No, it's, it's, it's more so what happens is people buy a watch. It's this new consumer society we live in. People tend to in in the past people bought and held now because it's so easy to flip in and out and you can make money it's no longer a sacred cow so i don't think you can really have watches which which will bring you bad luck because they're second hand in fact i've had cases where they can bring you extremely good luck that's exactly right. Extremely good luck. And I, th I think it depends on, it's a number. So, so I wouldn't say people sell their Rolex just because they, they had bad times. They often, when things are going really well, they upgrade and things like that. So <clears throat> I would tend to say myself, um, there is no guarantee on good luck or bad luck in anything. You just go and see how the flow goes. To give you an idea, I remember I put on this, my, my, my Patek 6006, and that belonged to a really swanky Asian guy. He had a Tesla, he was in finance. And you know, when I wore that watch, Jesus, did I have a swagger. I had a swagger. And I was going out with this, this Chinese uh, doctor. And, oh my God, the, 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 the energy in this watch. Man, I could do no wrong. <clears throat> and the funny thing is, I took it off because <coughs> I'd worn it for about a couple of weeks. That was my go-to watch. And I put on a... Calatrava 5127 and she ended the relationship that afternoon 
And she didn't even, just the energy. And the funny thing is, you know, the watch I put on, it actually, on the certificate of origin, actually on the, on the extract, it was sold. It was sold on the first date of my last wife. There you go. Uh, yeah, 16th of December. It was a different year, but ooh, it's kind of spooky. But, you know, that's that just, just how it goes. Uh, I've had... The Monaco had amazing sexual energy. I got that watch. I don't know what... I spoke to the guy. He worked for a big Fortune 500 company. Another Asian guy owned it. And I got to tell you, that had a sexual aura. I remember I went over... I'm not going to say where I went, but I went to this this lady, I, I, I said, well, one of my previous wives, and I just, it was just, just crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, sexual energy, I've got to tell you, the um, the two-tone date just, sorry, two-tone submarina bluesy, I got picked up at the airport. This, this, this lady who worked for airports of Thailand, she started flirting with me. And um, that watch had some energy. Uh, that's also why I got rid of it, because it was too strong. I just can't handle it. Uh, the interesting thing with a lot of paddocks, the guys who own them are shysters, okay? They're really, like they're financial. Look, I, I suppose the thing is with paddock, Philippe, is that they're, they're so expensive. Paddock is not for poor people. Paddock is, is expensive. And... I've owned one watch that belonged to a surgeon who left bits in someone's heart, <laughs> right? That was a 5296. The guy got malpractice, got sued, because I, I, I always Google their name from the certificate. I had a, my white gold world time, that belonged to a fraudster, a guy who was involved in a $30 million fraud. He, he, he bought it on a whim, <laughs> you know? Um amazing i've had you just i always look at the papers i always google how much their house is worth my current yellow gold world time that belonged to a an executive in canada he's got a three and a half million dollar home <laughs> um you know why would he sell it well he didn't get divorced or had money problems he just uh probably traded in on something else you know that's what happens um, uh, and I, I suppose, you know, I think good luck, bad luck. I think in many ways you create your own luck. Okay. And watches aren't necessarily sold because they're going through bad times. They could be trading in. And I, my own view is, this is my view. Okay. I'm a bit agnostic in many of my beliefs, but Sometimes I've seen the spirit world and that there. I'm not prepared to just dish it and say it doesn't exist. <clears throat> My view is this. I always look after the luxury goods. If someone's owned it and they've been misfortunate, I always love my luxury goods. This 5127 belonged to a Russian gymnastics coach. So he would have been, you know, he would have been a real... He would have been a, uh, a tough geezer, you know, a tough geezer who he would know nonsense. Take these, take the injection, sit down. You just imagine, win at all cost. But I, you know, he died and then I, I bought the watch. Obviously, it'd been, you know, gone to auction. Or, and I got to tell you, this watch itself there, I love it. I just give it respect. I love it. Uh, if he's in this room with me, Boris, Boris. I love your Patek Philippe. It sh Boris, you had great taste. Boris, you, you're a, you're a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I love the Patek. I love it more than anything. Boris, I've added the deployant. Uh, Boris, yeah, I might need to lose a little bit too, Boris. You might get me on a program. But see, I got to tell you honestly, honestly, uh... I'd never consider these things bringing bad luck. I, I kind of find it interesting. I, I have a number of them. Um, I've, I've got to tell you there, 
I've had some great times, good good energy out of a lot of these things here. The, um, you know, it's funny, I had sold my annual calendar and I managed to get it back. That was great. That was my own energy, got it back in the universe. Uh, the, the 5196 I've got, that belonged to an, a really wealthy executive who bought it at the saloon in Paris. What a great story. And he probably just flipped it for something, something more amazing. You know, that's what happens. So <clears throat> is there bad energy? There's equally good energy. And you can always change the energy. You know, you just, I always talk to my things and I love my material goods. I love my material goods more than real people. You know, they're, they just, they got a little soul. I think they've got a soul to them. And I mean, this paddock here, touch wood, it probably be around in two or 300 years time. You know, cause it's, a, it's an heirloom. There's so much other stuff in your life is junk. This refrigerator is on its way out. This, uh, the carpet's been replaced, but that's got a 20, 30 year life, the carpet. Uh, you know, maybe the books will be, they'll, they'll hold. But you understand what I mean. You understand what I'm saying. So I've got to be totally honest with you and say that I think you can e equally get good luck. And, you know, so I think it also depends on yourself. You can't blame the thing for giving you bad luck. It's often your own stupid, stupid situation. So I got to be totally honest with you there totally honest with you um you know can a wristwatch give you good luck or bad luck that's a that's a really good question in my case there i've had i've seen sexual energy i have seen good luck uh yeah so i gotta say i wouldn't you know, I think there's equally, equally you might get, it's not really bad luck if you care for these material goods. I love my material goods. I love the watches. I don't see how it can be bad. Never buy a Rolex because someone sells it in bankruptcy or divorce. So many, that used to be, that could have been the case years ago, but now they flip. Watches are so, there's a marketplace to flip them. So it's it's more likely it's got good energy than bad. So I'd never ever consider that. And you know, you make your own luck. Okay, you make your own luck. If you're gonna have to rely on energy from other people, your life's a bit sort of crappy. So my honest advice is, yeah, embrace it a bit, but as long as you love the material goods, you care for them, and you, you know, everything will be fine. Okay, guys, that's my video on does buying a secondhand Rolex. You should never buy a secondhand Rolex. That's mumbo jumbo. Everything I bought is secondhand. Secondhand, baby, secondhand. Okay, let's get on with the show. See you later, guys. Love you all. And remember, if you get bad luck, sell it to your enemy. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, and uh, we've got new carpet. I want to thank ER. ER is the lady who made all this possible because it wasn't wasn't my doing. She uh, very kindly donated the channel, and uh, we've got new carpet, synthetic carpet. No more carpet beetles. That's right. So now I'm just repacking. I'm doing a redesign. We're going to go for a more academic look. We've got bookshelves. These are 
some bookshelves. I reshuffled the furniture and uh, we're going for a new academic look. Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. No more carpet beetles. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.